Mr. Wine Dude. There we go. Is he dead? Oh. Two shots. Wow. Okay, let's finish him with the club. Oh, nice. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, where I play Seven Days to Die modded using Valmod. And I keep saying in my head Starvation Mod, I played that for too long. Every single time. No, it's Valmod, it's not Starvation Mod. Yet. <laughs> we see if we can start already looking at making our little base underground there. This is a really good place that we found. I want to get more into building in Valmod than in Vanilla. Well, in Vanilla we're gonna get into building as well, because I think in Valmod we have more capabilities. But we're gonna see what we're gonna do today. I have no idea yet. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Making wood frames is something we can do now. We're level 10 carpentry. I spent about two or three points on it. I, I, I just got impatient. Like, And now we can make wood frames, which is very, very good, because they level up carpentry even faster which is fantastic so we just get some wood turn them into wood frames and here we go watch it go look at that cha-ching 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 so if we just go a little bit on a wood grind we should be able to do a chest soon because i need my chests i i just need my chests i can't i, I don't feel like i'm doing the game right if i don't have everything organized in different chests now i know it's only day two well we're going into day three now and we haven't really prepared for anything for the first horde night but I want to focus on what I'm gonna do here and then maybe for the horde night we're just gonna ask around like in the village I have no idea we'll see what we're gonna do maybe we get a couple of spikes done on time and go from there I also started looking at making iron an iron hex uh, an iron axe head I think a fire axe head that's what it's called yes sorry so an iron fire axe I already have the head which I have somewhere here and or did I put it in the chest somewhere I don't remember there it is but I can't make the iron axe yet and I don't know why that is I, I I'm not sure if it had there was blacksmithing Because blacksmithing is uh, level 15 and then level 20 it unlocks things But I don't think that's actually what it was. I'm I don't remember. I'm gonna have to check it out If I don't figure out in this episode if you guys know let me know in the comments below I'm gonna do a little bit of a test now um, I just spent two points on getting scavenging, so uh, my scavenging is now level 10, which unlocked the scrap iron axe, because the axe, as far as I know, is unlocked through the fire axe, is unlocked through here, and I don't know how to level that up naturally, but I think maybe the use of the scrap iron axe will, support, will unlock that, so let's have a look here, scrap iron axes, how much do we get with that? Five, now with this one here... Okay, we get one more, but does it level up? Oh, it does level up the axes. There we go. Look at that. That is nice. So if we use that, we can level up our axes much faster, and then that should eventually unlock the fire axe, the iron fire axe, which would be really, really good. So let's see how far we got with one tree. Actually, we got a good bit in. That is really, really cool. Come on. And then you can find books and all that and recipes like to level that up as well, which is really nice. Oh, excuse me. Dude. That went right for you. Can I axe you in the face? Can I level up my axe on your face? I think I can, actually. I mean, it's an axe after all. Like, I mean, it doesn't care what it hits. Wow. Okay. You, you were packing like duct tape. Awesome. That is amazing. Do we have anything here? Sweet. It's the middle of the night now. We better be quiet so we can hear the zombies. I think we're okay for the moment. So, the idea is to have approximately this much of a circumference so this is where the blocks will go the first ones anyway you still need a little bit of dirt on digging here i don't like her constantly moaning because every time she does that i think there's a zombie behind me which is very very frustrating <laughs> there we go and this is gonna go up all the way out so that basically nothing collapses and this is how high it will go one more there we go nice Let's see, we have a lot of kits that we made. Where are the kits? 21, so we're okay. Then we level up our construction anyway, which is needed. There we go, nice. Lovely. It's slowly taking shape. The next thing we're going to have built is this pillar here, and then we're gonna build a platform on top. This, I think it's wide enough. Yeah, we can do that. We probably dig out a little bit more. We want to get just that little bit extra in. But yeah, that's where we're basically going. We're going underneath here. So we're going to dig down. We're going to excavate it out. 
Actually, for the moment, it's okay if it actually is only one down. As long as we have a straight line to it, I'm actually okay. I don't mind too much. Okay, some of the grinding I'm gonna have to leave in because it's just taking too long. <laughs> I hope we're not gonna get one of those roaming hordes in the middle of the night because then I'm seriously screwed. But you know what? I'm far enough away from my house that if they come by and kill me, I can just come up and uh, get my stuff. I should be okay. We definitely want to pick up all these guys because I need drink and I, forget, I keep forgetting that I can make yoga juice. Would you stop? Background sounds. It's going to say, Who is you? Who is you? Who is you? Who is you? Wooshy, wooshy, wooshy. Yeah, don't do that, okay? It's really annoying. <laughs> also, I noticed Valmont has changed how we upgrade our wood frames. So our wood frames, before when we made wood frames, def well, before as in Alpha 15. Where is my hole? I'm in my hole. Why can I not see it? There we go. Anyway, before, if you look at the resources used now and we upgrade this, it's what? Because I was thinking, like, I only have so many carpenter kits. Like, you know, they're, like, how come they last so long? It's just wood we're actually using now to upgrade, which is amazing. So it's only for the level two upgrade that you will need um, kits. So if we do this, there we go. We needed a kit. Now we can destroy this again because I don't really need it. So we'll probably get a nail back. No, we don't. Anyway, so this is where we'll have number three, I think. Let me see here. Um, blah, 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 blah. I calculate that off camera. But we're going to go, we're going to pull it all the way over here. And then we're going to close off this section here. And that will give us a good starting point because then we're going to have stairs coming from here or at least a ladder. And then underground here, we can put our mining stuff. We can keep mining down. We don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, but here, that area here, we're just going to put some support pillars and then we can build out from top here. So this should be okay, hopefully. We should be digging level 15 carpentry now. Come on. I think we're making enough and then we can even stop the production. <laughs> Please let it be like at level 15. I don't want to go to level 20. Shit. Where the hell is it coming from? Level 15. Please let me unlock something. Please let me unlock something. Ah, balls. Chests are going to be level 20. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, it's a Hawaiian dude as well. We are so not going to mess with him. I have my gamma up. It should be bright enough, but holy balls. Actually, it's getting daylight. We're not gonna mess with no Hawaiian dude. No way, sorry! Not happening! I also just noticed that we might be able to do our mining challenge. I know my face is halfway over it, but it only... Basically what it is, the mining challenge is this. Uh, I wait until I'm in the base so I can show you. But I think we have all the resources now to actually hand in the quest. It only highlights what you have on you, so it doesn't highlight all the already collected resources, if you know what I mean. Because that's what I thought it would do, is to say it says uh, in there, gather 150 raw iron. We actually have to have raw iron. Oh, we might not have the raw iron at the base because I put that straight away into the forge. So we might be short the raw iron. Yeah, we're going to have to go on a little bit of a grind for raw iron and hopefully get 150 out of it. Oh, holy balls. That cactus in absolutely infectinated me. It just went right for my balls. I was just standing there talking to you and it goes like... It's like... Hang. Without hesitation, just like straight right into the goods. Clay time every time. There we go. All right, so I think we have everything else here, but the main thing is we can turn the light back on here. So let's see what the what the actual quest is. So the quest is minor quest, and you can see here what we need. Now, when it comes to everything except our raw iron, we have everything. It's the raw iron that we're having a problem with. Mr. Wine Dude. There we go. Is he dead? Oh. Two shots. Wow. Okay, let's finish him with the club. Oh, nice. Yes, look at that. What a loadout. Beautiful. Oh, that's why I love Mal Valmod. Like, for the points that you can pick up, all that jazz. That is really, really a lot of fun. So. Okay. <laughs> All these random noises kicking in. Holy balls, it's so warm in my office. So if I look very sleepy, it's because it's like 40 degrees here in my office. It's unbelievable. It's like I want to turn the air conditioning or fan on, not air conditioning, the fan on, but it will be really loud. And then I have to post 
Excuse me. Holy balls. Coffee hiccups. They're disgusting. Oh my god. Oh. Regurgitated coffee. Delicious. Mmm. Lovely. Can only recommend it. The best thing ever. I should bottle that and sell it. Where is my stupid stones? Okay, they're over here. So we're going to try to get 150 iron that we can complete the quest because when we complete the miner quest, we get another skill point in mining tools. We get five dynamite and we get an iron pickaxe. Another iron pickaxe level 300. I think that's the reward down here. So that would be pretty awesome. So let's get 150 and then we can start mining with a better iron uh, pickaxe and um, get mine, naturally. Duh. Okay, I think we're gonna spend the last two points on carpentry so we can unlock these chests because that's really starting to do my head in. So let's go down here. I just need chests. If I don't get chests, look at this. I'm between a toilet, having the shit in the toilet. <laughs> okay, no, I'm literally having my, having my, Having my crap in the toilet doesn't sound much better, does it now? Having my things in the toilet and between purses, okay, like some, I don't know, accident waiting to happen. There we go. Now we completed the challenge. Nice. Okay, we get the next one. What do we get next? We should have gotten our, yes, 300 iron pickaxe. Awesome. Look at that. That is beautiful. And we got the dynamite, which, ooh, it's going to come in handy for blowing blowing up some things here. Look at that. Oh, and here's some iron. This is going to be amazing. Look at that. Anyway, so let's see what we got. Is there no mission two? Let me see. There's usually a mining quest two, no? Aww. Okay, we got three treasure chest quests, and we got this one here, I suppose. The trader. Anyway, so that's that. Now let's put carpentry. Three points. Let's get up one level. Because we're nearly there. It would be such a waste. There we go. Nice. Okay. So now we can buy the other two without feeling like we wasted too much. There we go. Nice. Secure storage chest. Thank you. This is amazing. And file cabinet. This is awesome. So we have now finally the, uh, some storage that we can make. Can we make actually all storage? Let me see here. Storage. Storage. Uh, yes, we can make the storage boxes as well, which is unbelievably amazing. And we have some nails. I think we have nails. We can make some nails. We can make loads of nails. We don't need actually anybody to, to give us nails. We can make loads of them now. So we can just go in here. Nails. There we go. Oh, yeah, we can make a few. Let's make a hundred. Just, you know, to have some backup. And let's go outside and test out this new pickaxe. Because we still have to do a little bit more digging. And we also need to make a standard axe so we can continue upgrading our things. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay, so... This is where we're digging through. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, man. And this is normal stone. This is not even the the the, the, the stones that we get all the raw iron from, from. This is just standard stone. Oh, this is amazing. And it's so... Oh, yeah. Our stamina has gone absolutely to the dogs, but that's okay. We don't really mind too much. Sweet. What is that shaking? Ah, balls. I have the window slightly open, so there's actually a strong wind blowing. It smashed the window closed twice, gave me a heart attack. And behind me, the door is rattling, going like brrrr, brrrr, every now and then. It's like, hello. By the way, I don't know if you noticed. You see this? You see this cap? This cap. My daughter gave that to me. And my other daughter actually said the font should be that font because it, it's zombie font. So I'm, I'm, I'm the boss. They, they mean the zombie boss, but I, I'm, I'm taking it literally. I'm the boss. So every time the wife's arguing, it's like, sorry. 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 Yep. I'm the boss. Yep. Usually when nobody else is at home, but I'm the boss. That says it right on the cap. Oh, we're nearly done. I had to put a lot of support beams underneath because if we start digging underneath and building in that little tunnel area here, the last thing I want is like some zombie dipwit walking around here on top and all of a sudden crashing into my base. So we have... We have a very good support system underneath now. So there will be no collapse. Eh, there still could be, but only if there's a real, real strong weak point, if that makes sense. Strong weak point? Yeah, well, you know what? It's a thing. Let's make it a thing. Who cares? Anyway. 
I just need to get some wood because we have to upgrade one or two blocks and I didn't have any wood. So let's go up here and let's have a look. What do we have? We only have 55. So this is looking good. We have five distance here and then we have a three distance here. And what we're going to do eventually is we're going to take this out and we're going to put stairs going all the way up. Actually, stairs would be awesome stairs and then into like a middle tier or something and then we can go underneath and make it oh yeah, yeah 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 i have already something in my head anyway look at this so what i measured is from here from this block that you see here which i can't get to one two three boom one two three boom one two three bam there we go and every three spaces i put another one and that is for the internal support that we're gonna have going up here so we're basically gonna wall this all off exactly down here to this area after we dig all that iron out and we're gonna wall this off and then we can take these pillars out and everything and nothing should collapse we can take all the potassium out the nitrate it should be good it should be good is how is my storage things coming along okay very nicely okay can we do more no we don't care actually about more oh okay i thought it was something else we don't care about more right now because we need to upgrade this dude here we made that hole <laughs> where is it ah balls where did i put it here and this is the next tree so we're going to put this here come on and right here excellent so that means we can definitely get rid of this pillar now if we need to. Well, we're going to get rid of it because we're going to build a wall here, a solid wall underneath. And then we have a nice flat area that we're going to dig out. It's going to look nice and pretty. And in the end of it, we're going to have our machines here, which are going to do all our work, which is nice. We have the wall exactly here, um, going along here and going along here, which is nice. So we have actually one more room to put a box here then. Sweet. And what a coincidence is that that we actually end up exactly behind our uh, stations. It's like it was intentionally done. Oh, see that here? It's not holding it. It's not holding it. Genie Mac, we're gonna have to come from, we're gonna have to come from below. There we go. Now it's holding. Very nice. I like it. We have to be careful here because this is all that stupid gravel stuff. So we definitely want to build a little ceiling here, potentially as high as this, just yeah, I think that would be okay. As high as one more, one higher, one higher. Yeah, one higher. We're going to go as high as that. And then we're going to put the roof across, which means we're literally going to be right below the surface of this. We're not going to leave any room um, below it. So we're going to take this out. There we go. Put this one here. And then we're going to put the roof all the way across. To this one here which is also i think yeah it's wood it's already well let's upgrade that so we can actually see it and let's put this here nice so this will hold now just by itself so even if the structure above it is really weak this will hold and we're going to bring all these guys across to connect and then there will be no collapse we still can in between have a collapse because if it's gravel or whatever but it should be minimal damage so we should be absolutely safe down here anyway i'm gonna leave this episode here guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaz and happy gaming well that should be interesting only because we live in a cave doesn't mean we can't make it look nice here we go nice <laughs> and we're just gonna clear this out look at this this is nice i like it and then we're gonna put all these poles all the way down here to this part here where, we, where the stairs come down and it's gonna look all proper this is gonna oh we're gonna make the front all proper as well this is gonna look nice yeah, we definitely have to get rid of these guys here. Make it look really, really nice. Sweet. And then we come down the stairs. We're going to straighten all this up here as well. And then we're going to come one set of stairs down again. Oh, man, it's going to look all really nice.